This will be in the new book that's coming out. This is a technique that I've been using now for the past year. It's highly successful. It's not any different than really a modified cannula three positioning maneuver, but it will be much more comfortable and safer for the patient. Now, being that you're here, you're going to be my spokesman. However, what I would suggest, if any of you are motion intolerant, if any of you have any kind of cervical spinal issues, if any of you have any kind of health issues of any type that you don't want to participate as the patient, then please simply recuse yourself. Not a big deal. You'll just practice as the doctor and not the patient. Okay? Enough said. Are you okay to be moved or are you motion intolerant? I'm motion intolerant. Okay. For this, I, I think, well, how motion intolerant are you? Oh. Okay. So let me show you what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to show you the biomechanics. Um, okay. Bring your legs up on the table. Okay. Now, for, for a real patient, you guys are all young, healthy people. It's not as critical. For a real patient, always put a pillow or a roll under their hamstrings, okay? If you take an older person in particular and you have them stretch out their hamstrings, they will very often get a charley horse and it will be very, very uncomfortable because their muscles haven't been stretched or elongated. You can even feel, again, you guys are young, but you can, okay, you can feel your muscle tighten there. So for old people, a lot of times you'll get them up on there and they go, ay, 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 Okay, so I was in practice here for many years. Okay, so it's always a good idea to, there you go, okay? So that'll be much better, all right? So what we're going to do is a modified cantilever three position. Okay, this is partially supported. The benefit of this technique that I'm going to show you is, number one, mechanically, it's the safest for me. Okay? Number two, the patient is going to be able to hold on to me. <clears throat> is vertigo real or is it a hallucination? Really? It's a hallucination. So anything I can do to draw upon the other modalities to quash or reduce the hallucination, so much the better. Right? You don't, I mean, because it's not, I don't really care about the subject, the intensity of the subjective feeling. Whatever I can do to make life better for the patient, fabulous. Okay? So we're going to let the patient hold on to me. That will do several things. Number one, reduce the hallucination. Number two, by allowing them to use their upper body strength, I take the demand off their paraspinals and abdominals. Okay? Now, at the same time, I don't like the idea, and I never have, of letting a patient just hang their head off a table. It's bad. You will never see a physical therapist ever recommend that, ever. It is an ENT audiology aberration. Okay, it is mechanically unsound to hang somebody's head off a table. Quite honestly, it should never be done, unless the person is at least partially supported. Okay, you can dissect someone's vertebral artery, or you can cause a stroke. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to treat her right ear. So we're going to do a modified cannula three positioning of her right ear. But what I'm showing you is also what? A modified hall pipe. Isn't that great? So you don't have to learn two different things. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to come around with my right hand around her neck. Okay, just relax. Okay. So what I'm doing here is I've completely supported her neck. Number two is I'm going to ask her to reach under my arm and hold on to me tight, both hands. Remember, I'm treating this patient because she has BPPV. No matter how brave she is or whatever, She's going to have vertigo when I lay her down, okay? So by telling her to hold on to me tight, that will reduce the hallucination. It will also, she will engage her upper body.
body, okay, again, to take the strain off the abs and the paraspinals, all right? What I'm then going to do is I'm going to put a pillow right here on her shoulder blades, right at the clavicle, so that when I lay her back, her head will fall lower than her shoulders, okay? Remember, what I want is this pretty little earring to be upside down. Right now, that's the otoconia. I need the otoconia to be up here, don't I? Okay. I think I may need, well, maybe one of these would be enough. I think one of them might be enough. Let's see. Okay, so turn your head towards me, and watch what I do. I'm just going to take a step. It's like dancing with the stars. Ready? Turn towards me, and come back. Beautiful. Okay, so come over here to see the seer. You're on the wrong side, just for a second. Okay, see that? Galileo and Newton were absolutely correct. Gravity always works. It's Friday afternoon. I don't know, do you, is gravity going to show up? Gravity always, are you comfy? Isn't that nice? It's like day spa. Okay. So, if the otoconia was here, is there any doubt where they would go? They'd go right over to Winston Jewelry. Right? They would come right down here. So, the debris then is going to be right here, isn't it? We're going to wait one minute. Slowly, comfortably, without lifting the head, roll to 45 degrees here. Why don't I want to lift the head? Because I will get backwash. Why don't I want her to turn her head beyond 45 degrees? We'll go horizontal. Okay? Where's the debris now? Right there. It's almost out. When I roll her onto this side, the debris will come around this turn. So when she sits up, it'll drop. See how easy that is? Position one, position two. Need to roll her like a little cannoli. How appropriate that our cannoli girl is going to get rolled like a cannoli. Don't let your cheese fall out. Okay? So that's what I tell my little burritos and my little cannolis. Okay? Wrap yourself tight. Don't let your guacamole fall out. Okay? Now the way I'm going to roll her is a classic bed roll. She's going to do most of the work. I'm going to take this away. Bend this knee. You're going to push off. When I tell you to roll, you're going to push off. Now, I'm going to stand against this table. If I stand here, she could roll off between the table and I. Not good. So we're going to pretend we're on the underground in London and mine the gap. Okay? So we're going to stand right up against the table so that we're there to protect the patient. Okay? Now, I also need to make sure that her head stays in this position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently put my hand on her face. Okay? I'm going to ask her, are you ready to push off? Yes. You're going to roll onto your side. I'm going to use this pillow to, to roll my cannoli. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, roll towards me. See? Sweet. Now, probably she's going to have a burst of vertigo or nystagmus in this position. We're going to wait till that's over. So it's only a couple of seconds. And then I've slid my hand under her forehead. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to keep the head from lifting. I'm now going to ask her to just shake your head no a couple of three, four times. Here we go. No, 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 no. And now we wait one minute. We're simply going to wait one minute in each of the positions. Okay? One minute is over. What are we going to do? Got to get her out of bed. So we should lift her up. Not. Okay? Classic bed transfer. Unwrap, shift, don't lift. Unwrap, shift, don't lift. 
This is the final position for every single treatment. Unwrap, shift, don't lift. Three discrete movements. Do not try to do this in one whoosh. Unwrap, shift, don't lift. Don't move. Unwrap, that will let her push herself up. She's unwrapped. She's ready. She, I got her elbow here. I got her hand here. She's unwrapped. I put my hand on her shoulder. Shift. I've got to shift her center of gravity. I'm going to say don't lift. I'm simply going to put my hand on her pelvis, and I'm going to go that way with her. Basic tenet of physical medicine. You always move in the direction you're moving the patient. Are you ready? Push yourself up. We're upright. Now, I did a good job. I want a tip. Okay? Why do we do the tip? Because if there's any debris hung up, this will help it fall. Bring your head up. We only need to do that for a few seconds. Don't worry about your hair. You look great. Nobody's looking at you. Okay, we hold on to the patient. Yeah, yeah, you're cured. See how easy that is? You look good too. <laughs> I think I'm looking up. Okay, so you see, you can turn, be comfortable. So you see how simple that is? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're only gonna do one. We're gonna get through that, and then we'll go to the second one. Okay, so everybody grab a pillow.